The Owl and the Lion Once upon a time, there lived a big, ferocious lion in the jungle. Because he was strong, he bullied every other animal. The animals could no longer live in peace because of the lion. So they decided to have a meeting where they could find a way to stop the lion from bothering them. We need to get rid of this lion, a hare said. I believe we need to find a champion among us to go and teach him a lesson. The animals roared and clapped, but... The tiger looked to the side. The elephant whistled. The rhino continued to read his book. No animal would volunteer to fight the lion until an old owl came up and said, Worry not, my friends. I'll fight the lion. Some animals laughed. Some thought the owl was crazy. But since no one else volunteered, they accepted. The word spread that tomorrow morning the owl would meet the lion at his den for a fight. When the lion heard about the news, he rolled up laughing and laughing. So the next day at sunrise, the lion was wide awake, waiting for the owl. All the animals were also there, but the owl didn't show up. The minutes passed. The Hours passed, and still no sign of the owl. The sun was starting to set, and all the animals were starting to go home, when finally the owl showed up. Why are you so late? screamed the lion. I'm sorry, Mr. Lion, the owl said. But on my way here, I found a huge lion and was so afraid of him, I had to wait until he went to sleep to come here. Oh, I am glad I have to fight you and not him. The lion could not believe what he was hearing. A stronger lion than me? he asked. Take me to that lion immediately, he demanded. So the owl took him to a nearby deep well. Last time I saw him, he went inside, said the owl. The lion sneaked inside the well and roared as loud as he could. Of course, his own reflection roared as well, and magnified by the echo, the roar came five times louder. The stupid lion was so scared that he ran away as fast as he could, never to be seen again. Once again, the owl proved that being smart is what makes us stronger. The End In this video, you're going to learn how to improve your English pronunciation. And at the end of this video, I'll give you a link to a web page that contains free pronunciation exercises. Now, first of all, why is it so hard for you and I to improve our English pronunciation? Well, one of the reasons is that we can't make some sounds in English because those sounds are not present in our native languages. So when we speak English, we replace those difficult sounds with some other sounds that we can make. And that's why we mispronounce words all the time. So the first step to improving your pronunciation is to learn to pronounce all of the main sounds in English correctly. 
So how do you do that? Well, one way to do that is to find some pronunciation exercises for each sound in English and just practice. After you practice making all the sounds, you will have the perfect pronunciation. Now, I really wish it were that simple, but it's not. There is a problem, and the problem is the sounds in English are very similar to each other's. Now, why is that a problem? Well, unlike babies. Adults don't have the ability to easily distinguish between all the different sounds in a foreign language. So when you hear two different sounds in English, if those sounds are similar, your brain might perceive those sounds as the same, and that's why learning to make each sound separately may not work. In the past, I couldn't hear the difference between these sounds, so to me, the words "cheap" and "sheep" sounded the same. If I did an exercise teaching how to pronounce these words, I would mispronounce all of them, and I would believe that I was pronouncing those words correctly, even though that wasn't true. And that's the bigger challenge when it comes to improving your pronunciation. If you can't hear the difference between two sounds, how can you learn to produce each sound correctly? So what should you do? Fortunately, there's a method for overcoming this problem. And this method is based on a number of research studies. These studies suggest that if you have trouble differentiating between two sounds or two words, the best way to train your brain to recognize the difference is to listen to the words at the same time. I mean, not exactly at the same time, but you listen to one word immediately after the other. If you hear those words at the same time, you are more likely to notice the difference. And after you've noticed the difference, you can then practice pronouncing those words. There are many free pronunciation exercises that apply this idea. These exercises contrast one sound with another. And here is what such an exercise might look like. This exercise contrasts the a sound with the e sound. This kind of exercise has three key benefits. Firstly, It makes you aware that the words in each pair are pronounced differently. Secondly, in an exercise like this, the presenter tends to exaggerate when pronouncing words, making it even easier to hear the differences. And lastly, since similar words are presented together for comparison, it reduces the tendency for a non-native speaker to pronounce two different words the same way. Now you might be wondering. Does this really work? And the answer is yes. I used this method myself to improve my pronunciation. Before I began applying this method, I mispronounced a lot of words. And here are some examples. Look at these word pairs. The words in each pair are pronounced differently, but I used to pronounce them the same way. So sometimes I would say something confusing. But thanks to this method, I was able to fix most of the mistakes, and now my pronunciation is much better. All right, now it's time for you to improve your pronunciation. I've created a resource page that includes exercises for all the confusing sounds in English. Just click here to go to that page. And if you want more useful content like this, subscribe to this channel and click the like button.